Fecioară Maria, născătoare de Dumnezeu, miluiește-mă pe mine, păcătosul. Ave o Maria, piena de grația, il Signore e con te, e benedetto il suo frutto del tuo seno, Gesù. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. There's a saying. I'm Romanian, so I'm an Orthodox. We're in a Catholic place, and uh, I just landed from Abu Dhabi, where I'm the personal advisor of His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Khalifa, bin Hamdan al Nayan, who is Muslim. We all have in common one thing. In the Quran, in the Bible, there is Jesus Christ and Mother Mary. And uh, this unites us. It's a common element. But even more important than this, in Romania we say that the woman for the man is like the church for Jesus Christ. I'm going to allow each and every one of you to take this and put it deep inside because it is very important because the place of worship of the man is the woman and in order for this to happen this is why we always say behind every powerful man sit an even more powerful woman because to be a powerful woman it means that you sometimes stay in the shadow and just protect the man that stays in front And that, what he has to do for you, is to protect you and let you shine. Because it's not about who's first, the woman or the man. It's about equality. It's about supporting each other. You shine today, she shines tomorrow. Because we will never be able, as men, to have what you women have. The right to give birth. The blessing to feel life from God growing inside of you and I envy you for that and uh, you were built in such a way that you make our soul shine and from the moment we are born until the moment we leave this earth it's only you women that make us who we are from mother to wife to daughter that caresses us when our days are at an end And this brings me back to unity. The model of unity is family. That is what we should aim for. Collaboration, being together. And it's nice to talk about it. But uh, we are in a holy place. Uh, we are in the Vatican. And I want to thank Dustin for the fact that we are here. And I want to thank Dustin for us and for inviting us here. But I want to tell you a small story, because, you know, it's good to talk about it. But showing proof is better. We started Romanian Business Council last year, in February. And it was just my wife and me, His Highness, Sheikh Hamdan bin Khalifa bin Hamdan al -Nayan. And we had struggles that were crazy. Uh, we came back in April to restart this Business Council that's supposed to unite communities and have the business world of UAE and the business world of Romania join forces and so on. So, I encountered a second organization, which was called Romanian Business Council of Dubai. We were like, what? This is crazy. So, you know, uh, I'm an alpha male. I decided this when I was 13th and I first kissed the lady, and then she didn't look back at me. And I said, from now on, I'm going to be the guy. Well, so, you know, we alpha males, there's a lot of us here. We like to uh, break down walls and destroy everything because that's what we do. Well, uh, you know, I was looking at this organization. I said, hmm, now I have two choices. Go to war and uh, just show everyone that, uh, you know, I'm better and I'm the top notch. Or actually sit down and talk. And uh, that's what my wife and I did. We met Genoviva. She was the president, and she still is the president of uh, 
Romanian Business Council of Dubai, we sit down, we look at each other, and we left our egos aside. We left our necessity aside. And we set the ground rules, which were very simple. Be honest, open, speak your mind, find a way to balance things out. Then Yulia came along, and instead of us starting a war, which you see it's currently going on in the world, we decided to just talk, put things into motion, which led to the biggest event that was done in the UAE in the business community in the last 30 years, because we all worked together. Because instead of going crazy, we decided to be crazy and take a leap of faith and trust each other. So this thing led to another and led to our current project, which is called United We Stand, because that's our logo, which is Romanian Business Council, European Business Council, which aims to do a very simple thing, lay a plain field where people can stay together with open arms. AI is knocking at the door. Is going to dehumanize everything we know. We're going to become obsolete. And everyone says, okay, what's next? Well, what's next is humanity. What's next is, as a good friend of mine from Abu Dhabi, from Dubai saying, H to H, human to human. I'm quoting Atman, he's an unbelievable guy. So we have to look at very simple thing. The most powerful woman in history, I've seen her on Mount Athos, on an icon. When they were trying to conquer, some, some uh, invaders were trying to conquer a city, and there was Mother Mary and Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ took the hand and put it towards her mother's mouth to shut her up. And at that moment, Mother Mary took the hand of Jesus Christ and told the truth to save the city. That is the power of a woman. And this is what, in my opinion, unity is all about. Looking at your woman like I would look at my wife every day. She is the one balancing me out. And I am the one that gives a safe place for her to be what she is, a diamond. So at the end of it all, if you look at your family at home, you will understand that the path to unity is just replicating that at a global level. Money is an important thing, but money can never, ever, ever be a scope. It has to be a result. Why? Because our model in life has to be Jesus Christ. Why? Because he loves unconditionally. The moment you love yourself unconditionally, because that's where you have to start, you will start loving the others around you unconditionally. And spreading the love is the basis of unity, is the basis of the secret to a happy life. So when we talk about unity's path, OK, we create the podcast, you, me, connect, where Europe and Middle East connect, and uh, you and me connect. And all this is, you know, it sounds nice, but our colleagues were very right. Talking is good. Doing is better. And the time for talking is kind of over. So for this reason, before I end, I want to thank very much Dustin for this. It's really beautiful. So what I did here, I wrote here the Unity Note book, OK? I think you can see it on camera there, OK? And I said here, this notebook is a statement of unity for all to come in the face of all who will read its messages. And I signed it. I like to see my name. And then I wrote a small thing. I said, Marius Marnov, which is my name, president of Romanian Business Council, which is my position, from Romania. And then I said the message, unity is the way that people understand who they are while they reflect themselves in the eyes of the people they encounter and join forces with. The way forward is only being united, since united we stand, divided we fall. So this is my first message. 
since we're going to spend the day here, thanks to Dustin and uh, thanks to, <laughs> I, I want to thank your, your unbelievable leaders and amazing people. And the music is ringing, which is good, which is me. I'm delivering the right message. I invite you all to take this, write your name, your organization, your country, and write a message. I promise you all that within a week, I will take all your messages with your name, and I will put them on our website. I will put them everywhere because I want the message of unity not to come from me. I'm just a tool in the hand of God, in the hand of Mother Mary. As we all are, the moment we realize this, the moment we realize that it doesn't matter you're Muslim, Catholic, Orthodox, it doesn't matter who you are. What matters and truly matters is to be a humble human being, as my friend says. Be human to human. Trust creation of God that was brought to this earth through the power and love of a woman. And a woman is the first one that teaches a child unconditional love. And that is the key. So I will invite all of you to just write a message here. Let's share it with the world. And let's have everyone push this forward. Because in the end, this is who we are. Just tools. And as tools, in the hands of the right craftsman, can make, it's the truth, huh? As tools in the hands of the right craftsman, we can make miracles. You don't believe me? Look outside. Look at the paintings made here. Look at the works of Michelangelo. Look at all these things which they say we only remove the access so the real thing inside can shine. Thank you for being united. Thank you for being here. And the path to unity? Honestly, I do not know it. But I'm sure all of us together, we can achieve it.